donning the Riley's red shirt. Now, in the commentary box for this match, it is Chris Mason and Stuart Pike. Thank right, Jackie. Will the Fallon fairy tale continue on the opening day here of the UK? KO, and she has, well, turned women's darts on its head in the last few months for sure after her fantastic performances at the World Championship and then at the Premier League and qualifying here and difficult task it will be for Kyle McKinstry, 33-year-old from Dungannon in Northern Ireland. How will he deal with the pressure? How will he cope with the pressure from not just playing Fallon, but the crowd and the occasion on the main stage. Well, time playing in under the BDO banner. Yeah, won the England Open and Hull Masters a couple of times the Northern Ireland Open champion. But he went to Q School this year and um, I think he two two times rounds of 128 and then out twice in the round of 256. So really disappoints 60. him because he is he's a real high quality player. It's a tough old school, though, isn't it? Oh. Q school. I mean, Fallon gave it a go, and you know, well, look how look how good Glenn Durrant's gone on to yeah, do. It. Absolutely, <laughs> well, he, uh, he got him by the skin of his teeth. Yeah. But for Matt, mismatched darts, Durrant probably wouldn't be here doing Matty, what he's Matty doing. Dennant, wasn't 100. It? But yeah, the, the Fallon fairy tale, and what a story it's been. What a story! From qualifying for the Ali Pali to to beating Ted Everts, to beating Metzior Sulovic, to being ahead. Uh, coming mighty close to beating Chris Doby 16. at the Ali Pali. Brilliant performance. May people will say she probably should have beaten Glenn Durrant in the Premier League in Nottingham. Um, to qualify here. 140. A great achievement. But McKinstry certainly has the game. Top of the Premier League, isn't he, Glenn Durant? He is. Not that he mentions it at all on social media. But. One hundred and twenty-four. Got a favourite. Yep, relatively comfortable opening leg. Down to a two darter after fifteen 62. darts. Well, we were at 57. Well, that makes it feel a whole lot better. There will have been butterflies, there will have been nerves, but well, if you settle him down. If you are going to play Fallon, it, you know, preferably you'd like to have played, and played her out on the, one of the backboards, but, you know, the, the crowd in here is still uh, relatively um, quiet. So he will be given 57. every chance. Noticeably filled up though, hasn't it? Yes. People yep. wanted to come and watch Fallon play. And the qualifying through the Challenge Tour. Won an event on the Challenge Tour last year, reached a final. Fallon won six matches already to get to this stage on that 14-hour day at Riley's Wolverhampton, a field of over 200, managed to qualify Easy brilliantly, it. beating Stuart White 5-1 in the final. And, do you know, it just goes to show what the massive appeal is of this tournament, the UK Open. 2,440 players entered the Riley qualifiers this year. It should have been 2,441, but Chris Mason bottled it in 2020. Hopefully we'll see him give it a go next year, Christopher. It wasn't quite a bottle job, it was more a bro broken foot, but... Well, our, our, uh, our oh, colleague Ned Bolting has already split. come out and said that... I think the gauntlet's been thrown down. Yeah, ITV Sport are going to enter you for every Riley's qualifier next year. Needs the ball! 37. Chance Kyle here. 98. For McKinch Street to get the break. Double 12. Uh, double 12. Easy six. 
and his chance now uh, Fallon to level the crowd behind them Unlucky. While you required 12. I had the chance. Uh, the won't get another one. Carl McKinstry doubling his lead, but. Then they go to the Rufus. Uh, you just Keep. feel there that Fallon really had to win on her own throw in the opening leg, but. Advantage McKinstry. 48. Yes, only a race to six. Nowadays, the levels that these guys play at. 140. That's quite a short race. The winner, by the way, will play another Riley's qualifier, Jason Heaver. Yeah, he played lovely in his first game. I think he won 6 0, didn't he? 6 0 winner. Yeah. Spain's Jesus Nagara. 40. No, could have done without this, Fallon. Kinstry, a very famous name in in Northern Ireland, a, a rally driver. I don't know if they're related. Kenny McKinstry, a very famous driver from in and around the Belfast area, I do believe. 140. Moment, that second leg you feel is going to prove very, very important in this game. A fair play here to McKinstry because he's held it all together 59. and he's hit the big shots when he needed to, and he's capitalised on the mistakes from Fallon Sherrick as well. well we're three legs in. I only require 74. And he's averaging 95. Fallon just under 90. Good quality game. Tops for three now. No mistake. That's a body blow for Fallon Sherrick. Three out of four on the doubles now. Kyle McKinstry. Yeah, back to back 140s there from Sherrick to leave 41, but that was brilliant from McKinstry, you have to say. 140. Fourth 140 of the match. McKinstry on three. 60. Yeah, it's a fabul fabulous tournament, this one, because you've got that multi-board room. It's, it just feels 59. like really old school. Like back in the day, you see all the pros, Michael Smith wandering around up there and following their friends in the sport, of course, who are playing today. Yeah, Michael Easy Smith. Fun. It's just great for the fans the... as well, because they get right up close with the, with the players. Back to Van Gerwen and Aspinall and Anderson and Peter Wright, all coming into the, the draw. 50 later on and the draw for that fourth round by the way Keith Deller and Chris Mason on the main stage as soon as the afternoon proceedings have finished always increases 100. my popularity that yeah Michael Smith what a fantastic performance he's beaten Van Gerwen twice in the space of five days 100 well Michael's got to be one of his, his leanest spells not won a tournament since the 24th of November last year Easy. I think that was a genuine two. bounce out. Oh, in and out. 72 left for Fallon. Oh, that's a great setup. Leaves double 18. Well, I should get a first leg on the board here, yep. Fallon. 94. Fallon, you require 36. Just in case, picks off that trouble 18. Her in it. She's got a yeah. got a break well, She's she? got a break twice. twice. Yeah. yeah. 86. Reached the Lakeside quarterfinal. Yes. Carl McKinstry. Yep. 96.
100. And steady if unspectacular in McKinstry, but he decent player, as you said. Promised with, a lot. With, he lost to the eventual winner, years, didn't he? Yeah. In that, that 2019 in uh, the BDO World, he lost to Glenn Durrant, who went on to beat Scott Waits, who we've just seen win in the final. 7-3. Christoph Kuchuk, who we went out early this morning. 65. Yeah, somehow going to find a way to break through here. You feel Balancheric. Hasn't got to go for this, but 88 left. 99. No finish for Fallon, of course, on 184. I mean, it. To be fair to McKinstry, he's been very, very strong on his own throw. Yep, solid. 100. His average has dipped. I only require 68. Just over 90 now. 16 for double. For full one. He's oh, got the outstanding. Basically, the <laughs> best way to describe this is McKinstry is... is it's doing to, to Fallon what Fallon did to Evitz and Sulevich yeah. and, and Doby for a while at the World Championship because her finishing was fantastic at the Ali Pali and McKinstry Easy four one. out of five every time that Fallon has got close to give herself a shot to break the throw uh, that chance is snuffed out pretty quickly by the Northern Irishman 91 I was chatting to Chris Doby this morning he went off to Vegas to watch Tyson Fury. 140. There's a wonderful documentary on ITV4 at the moment. Well, I think it's actually on the main ITV channel. It 100. followed him prior to the fight and then during and after. It's it's fascinating insight. I saw the last half hour last night on, on ITV. 96. A Fallon in control in this sixth leg. Well, apart from fluffing her line, she hasn't been too bad on her no, on her own throw. There's only that one leg, wasn't yeah, there? Yeah, leg two, missed two darts at double 14. And, and that's the, the game solitary could change that quickly, Chris, as you yep. say, in a race to six. 98. Very, very solid leg here, 86 after 12. But there's, there's, there's little doubt that Fallon adds... Lisa Ashton, that Fallon, after what she achieved at the, at the Ali Pali, has completely changed the face of, of women's darts. Double 16, double 8 for 4 2. 78. Uh, two more. Fifth doubles. McKinstry. Yep, he's going to get a dart at it. And he hasn't missed much. And he hasn't yeah, missed here, 112, line. five out of six. Um, his finishing has been superb, absolutely superb. So five, 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 yeah. out six. Uh, five out of six. Five out of six, I mean, that, certainly in a, in a race to six, that wins you, that wins you most matches. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, but I mean, whatever happens here, is, we'll see Fallon on ITV Sport in the, in the World Series later in the year in New York and Copenhagen, Australia and New Zealand. And she's earned the chance, she's earned 95. the right. You know, but the amount of, of young girls who now want to take up the sport, want to play and want to, you know, want a pink dart shirt, you know, and it's it, it just the publicity that, that she generated for the sport for that two weeks in December. You know, priceless. Yeah, well, the co well I noticed the difference in the, the last coaching days I did at Riley's. You know, we had, we had 100. several women turn up yeah. for it. It was, yeah. it, was in, it was just incredible. The young girls look at Fallon and they want to be Fallon, and that's what that's what it's all about, isn't it? Having 100. sporting heroes as, as, oh, as darts young darts boys and girls. Be, you know, it should be open to anybody that wants to play. But Carl McKinstry coming here Thank and you. doing a job. I'm sure he would have been nervous all morning. Oh, yes. Human nature. <laughs> yep. But five out of six on the finishing, those first two legs, and all the nerves would have disappeared no, very quickly. Well, Lisa averaged 
a very respectable respectable 84 Fallon's approaching 90 it's a, it's a good performance he's just met a very hot McKinstry well, let, let sums it up well, McKinstry 5 out of 6 on the doubles Fallon 1 out of 8 yeah. and I think that's that where it's really been lost yeah and it was, as we mentioned, it was her finishing that won her at the Alley Pally. And it's yeah, McKinstry's sure. finishing the which wins the Goal, match here McKinstry. for the Northern Irishman. Um, gets a big round of applause, a standing ovation, Carol McKinstry. A quite stunning finishing, 6 out of 7. And Fallon Sherrick beaten 6-1. You've got to say, fair play, Carl McKinstry. That was sensational. We'll see a lot more of Fallon Sherrick during 2020 on ITV.